Well, she's going to have to stay active on the interior. She's 6'2". She's long and lanky. And when they make shots, they can get into their 2-2-1 three-quarter court press. Sarah Scalia settled her feet and knocks down the first shot, and Minnesota takes the one-point edge. And it was a smart choice right there to pass over the second line of their 2-2-1. Two, two, Make it two for two for Sarah Scalia. Zewellen said what she was just magnificent in the second half and was that leader that we needed her to be. Sissoko was thinking scoring and then kicks it out to Hubbard and she's hit her last two shots for a quick five point. Certainly, she would have been overlooked, right, if she didn't get yeah. that award. Yeah, I mean, that was just a phenomenal effort against Ohio State. Cash trying to take it right at Mershon will get the miss and the putback and the foul. Oh, setting her feet right there, Lisa. You called it. I mean, that's what you have to do to be a great shooter, especially in transition. It's Sable who got in the passing lane, and it's Sable who's rewarded. Established defender in the post. You're going to get called for that charge. And Skyers now is out of this game with three personal fouls, and Penn State trying to take advantage. The first half, nine points and ten rebounds so far for the Penn State center. Kick out to Powell, who had all the time in the world and makes Penn State pay for that. I love it. I love it. Scalia, dribble pull up for two. Yeah. But when yeah. chaos happens awesome. like that, it is memorable. Here's Penn State in the final few seconds. And the bucket is good for Burke. down on the block that was just like a warm-up bucket it's Hakins who gets the start here in the second half Carolyn Keeger has been working around with her lineups trying to find something that works and that'll work for McKenna Marisa three look that time for Marisa who's found her stroke this evening Contact there, but they'll let him play a little bit. On the push this time, it's Minnesota's turn, dropping it off to Hubbard for the fast break lane. Let things go. They expect the best. And again, we're not mind readers, but we showed that defensive sequence because we were thinking that something on that defensive side. Nice poise and composure inside by Cash. Sissoko and one. What you can do, I'm going to try to do better. That speaks volumes to the overall collective effort put forth so far by Penn State. Well, it's been tight. The seven points, as you can see, is the largest lead of the game for both teams, and Powell trying to cut into that. They've lost those halftime leads in the second half. And that just can't be the case, and that can't become the personality of your team. And when I say the personality of your team, it can't be like, well, here's the third quarter, and this is what we always do. I'm like air quoting. Saw Cash do it against this Minnesota defense. Well, Nia Beverly saw that it was successful, so she figured she would try her hand at it. Three points. That, that was a, a, a deep, deep three. The swing swing three is probably a little more productive. Scalia for three, and it's a new career high for her. She's made five of those tonight. Gives her a chance. Scalia again, trying to hunt down the deep three attempt. Powell will get another chance at it, and Minnesota has taken the lead right back. And the last time these two teams played, they were 5 of 28 for the game. Cash back in, and they use her beautifully. Down to who can get the stops necessary. And, and one that time for Penn play. State. Taking it inside for Hubbard off the glass for two. Now eight to shoot. A high low look. Bagwell Katalinich with a big bucket for Minnesota. On 100% at practice and in games here for Minnesota. You have to appreciate that kind of sacrifice physically and mentally. 
That's not one of my favorites. I have bad nerves, so I can't play that game. I, that's good. I'm then too we should, squeamish. We should play. <laughs> Minnesota played, and they played well in the fourth quarter.